Hi Taurus, it's time for our daily get together. Thank you for being here with me, you guys. And I want to say happy birthday. Happy birthday to you guys. Um, I'm going to light up this road opener candle for you guys. I'm going to be burning it. I'm gonna keep it burning here for you guys, probably through the night. Um, that's your birthday candle, a road opener here, an eye opener. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know right now at the time they're viewing this reading? Kind of feeling like there's going to be a little bit of a glitch in the matrix, a glitch in your world. There's a slowdown here I've been picking up on for you guys before I started your reading. Like a series of events that could be happening where it causes you to stop. Stop and fix things. And just when you stop and fix things, there, you'll fix it. And, and there's going to be something else that happens. All right. So the very first card you had, we have several cards that came out for you guys right away here. You have the lovers. This is Gemini energy. And then you have the six of cups. You have justice, Libra energy. And here you are, Taurus. Let me move these cards up. This is your energy, Taurus, the Empress, male or female. And then you have the Nine of Pentacles in the center of your reading. And you have the Ace of Cups. You have the Eight of Cups. I saw this as I was shuffling. That's coming into the future energy. And then you have the Five of Wands. The Five of Cups and the Knight of Swords. You have the Six of Pentacles here. On the bottom of the deck with the nine of wands. All right, you guys. Um, as I'm looking into your future here, something's coming to mind. All right, um, right away. If you react too quickly, if you speak too soon here in the future I have no idea what it's about right now but it looks like you could react here very quickly to something and then you could feel some type of regret towards that reaction that you have so be aware of that and let's start off here with your very first card there's a love connection here the lovers there's someone that you love Why are the lovers here? And the lovers is also telling me that you need to make some type of a choice. Here recently in the past that um, brought the tower in. It, it was scary. It happened all of a sudden. It shook up your world. Tell me why the tower is here. You have the Wheel of Fortune and the Seven of Pentacles. I'm actually seeing you when the tower took place something happened un unexpectedly it was very uncomfortable 
and it left you here in a position where you're looking at with the seven of pentacles you're looking at oh i've done all of this work and so do i stay or do i walk away what do i do here with the wheel of fortune showing up here it's almost like as if this happened before or is a repeating cycle for some of you but the wheel of fortune is telling me there's a new chapter here um something's changing it's not going to be the same anymore uh, these books here they there are being read on all four corners of the wheel of fortune are representing a new chapter all right and so I'm seeing whatever this tower, you may not even real, real, realize it right now in the present moment. Some of you do, some of you don't. This changed everything, okay? Things are not going to be the same. The karmic wheel, or if this was a pattern that kept happening over and over and over again, it's not going to happen anymore. We're starting a new chapter now within this connection with the lovers it's almost like the two of you were brought together here by um the spiritual spiritual world here there's an angel here and i see here with the next card that this is a soulmate all right it's someone that you have built a history with tell me why the six of cups is here you could have actually split from this person with the tower. Some of you did. Some of you didn't. Regardless of whether you did or you didn't, there's going to be something happening that's different here. Okay, so you have the seven of wands. You're starting to become resistant to the soulmate, the soul connection. Um... It's like you're pushing back here with the seven of wands. You could feel like, you could feel this, these wands, like there's different people here. Like you could be feeling attacked from, from below, from people who don't understand, people who stand below, people who aren't on your level. You have the nine of cups here, so I'm seeing um seeing you feeling very happy there's something here that makes you feel happy with the nine of cups You're going from the seven of wands to the eight of wands where you could be dealing with a virgo here with the hermit showing up but i feel like um whoever you love whoever this person is you're going from resisting them or pushing them back into a conversation like a lot taking place here and this conversation like a lot of communication going back and forth is really making you dig deep inside for answers with the hermit energy next card you have is you have justice so you're going to feel satisfied something's going to feel right after this conversation tell me why justice is here you have the fool aries energy The star Aquarius energy. You're doing something here. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Uh, 
All right, so I, I, I'm kind of talking really slow here, Taurus, because there's someone here in your energy that is keeping something from you. They, they're looking back. They see you as their wish fulfillment here. But this person is only telling you like half of a story. And so that's why I am doing this. Why I'm getting stuck in this energy right here. Because someone here is not completely telling you everything. It's almost like someone here has walked into some type of wish fulfillment of their own they've gone into hermit mode i think i told you guys this is aries energy but um if you are talking to this person you know at the moment and there is conversation going back and forth or if there was they they're not telling you everything taurus they're keeping something to themselves even though they're very attracted to you, um, you're showing up here as an empress, and this person loves you. They're not. They're not telling you everything. I don't know why they're doing this. That might be why you're making a snap reaction here in the future. Tell me why the empress is here. You have the Queen of Swords and you have the Knight of Cups. I kind of feel like, like you know, like your intuition's telling you. It's almost like you wait for whoever this is to arrive to see what they're going to say. Tell me why the Queen of Swords is here. The Ten of Wands. This is a commitment or a marriage here with the Hierophant. I don't know. I keep seeing this coming to some type of an end. But we're going to go through and find out what happens here. Because I'm seeing you here. It's like, okay, go ahead and um, tell me what you've got to tell me. Um... Now this person carry you can see this person has their back to you. They're carrying these ten wands. There's a lot going on in this person's head that they're not telling you. They're just approaching you like this Knight of Cups energy. Their approach to you is um very sweet, charming, smiling at you. They're very attracted to you. But this person does blow up out of anger. Tell me why the Nine of Pentacles is here. The King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. You love this person, Taurus, but, but you don't really know how to show your emotions that well either. There's something about this connection that ma that makes you feel good. It makes you feel like you can be an individual here. And it could bring in, you know, like financial gain to, to someone. That's not for everyone. But it gives you a sense of independence. Tell me why the Nine of Pentacles is here. The King of Pentacles. The King and the Queen of Pentacles here. It's a, it's like you both want your own space. The next card you have is the Ace of Cups. Tell me why the Ace of Cups is here. See, you both have the same goal, but you both want your own space. This person is so blocked off and so hurt. 
All right, they show up here. You're showing them love, like unconditional love here with the Ace of Cups and the Empress energy. And they show up here as a page with an apology, but they're very closed off and um, they are very hurt. The Three of Swords is sitting here with them. They're blindfolded. They're hurt. They know they, they love you. They want you. But this is, they don't want you to see the heartbreak and the fact that their arms are crossed over their chest. It's like they're protecting their heart. The next card you have is you have the Eight of Cups. I, I am honestly picking up on an energy here that seems very distant to you emotionally or physically distant why is the eight of cups here queen of wands the four of swords and you have six of swords this is lonely loneliness Your person is, is feeling like these three swords are going to fall down and hit them in the chest once again. There's someone here that, that's very, very hurt. They stay silent about their pain. And I feel like I feel like you have a lot of high energy. You like to laugh. You like other people are in your energy. You're very attractive. People are drawn to you. And I, I'm i seeing you moving into calmer water here and walking away. Why is the Five of Wands here? Something's changing in this connection. There's a new plan. There's a feeling of feeling left out in the cold, of feeling ghosted, okay? And if this has already happened, this person's going to send you a message here. Tell me why. The Emperor and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this is definitely like like a marriage, two people that live together here, an argument, a conflict within this castle or this, this place that you've built together. And um, It's like they're taking control here. It's almost like as if they're holding a bomb in their hand. They're they're taking control of something. Tell me why the Ten of Pentacles is here. Who is this person? They're holding back from you. You have strength, Leo energy, and you have the four of pentacles. Oh, what is going on with them? This person's keeping a secret, all right? They're looking at different options. They're so confused, I can't even pick up a direct any type of direct messages from this person's energy. Because they're that distant. They're, they're in the shadows where they haven't even made up their own mind yet. They're in a state of confusion. And 
And you may react here, Taurus. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Leo energy is here strong. You have strength, the sun, and the four of pentacles. See, why are they holding back from their happiness? All right, whoever this person is, they're afraid to walk away from you. They're holding on to you, at least energetically, and they're holding back from their sunshine, from their happiness here with strength it's so hard for them to hold back from having like this person literally feels like they can have it all with you this person's energy is so confusing even to me as i'm trying to read it because they don't even know what they want themselves taurus and you may react to them all right because they're holding back. And the love is here. The Two of Cups is standing here. But I feel like he, I feel like this person they keep they keep messing with your emotions. These cups keep falling down. And so you may react, you know, very, very quickly here. To something that this person says or does. Or just them being silent and holding back. I mean, everything should be good. Everything should be perfect. Everything I see inside, inside of the cards, it feels so good to me. But tell me why the Nine of Pentacles is here. I'm picking up on someone in your energy that feels stuck. They feel confused. This is Pisces energy, the hanged man. They're keeping a secret from you and apologizing in your face and acting like everything's okay at the same time. All right? But you feel you feel the distance here. You feel something's off. Something's not right. Let's look at the... The outside energy here from the outside looking in and see if we can piece this together a little bit bigger, better, because you feel like this person's breadcrumbing you. You have the six of pentacles here and then you're the nine of wands energy here. It's like, look at your face. Like, what are you doing? Let's look at it. Let's see what they're doing, Taurus. Because in this card, I'm seeing them focused on someone else, okay? And it's like you're right here waiting to hear from them. Waiting to see what they have to say. Tell me why the Six of Pentacles is here. The Knight of Swords. The Ace of Pentacles. And Strength. It's the same, it's the same thing. The Seven of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, confusion, um, a block in communication, and walking away. It's 
and then they're they're so inconsistent they come rushing towards you here this is an in and out energy with the knight of swords it's almost like as if they're in a big hurry and um the ace of pentacles is here like as if they they hand you a breadcrumb and then they're gone again they're holding something back from you and they're giving they're giving this energy that they're holding back from you to somewhere else because this person's afraid of you hurting them. Tell me why. I mean, you got to be hanging around here for a reason. The Nine of Wands is clarified by the Three of Cups, the Magician. And you have the Seven of Cups and the Eight of Wands. This reading isn't for everyone, but um, not the storyline anyway, but um, take what messages resonate and leave the rest. I am seeing so I see someone here that they're manifesting. The two of you to be together here, okay? This person wants you, Taurus. They really do. And I'm seeing them feeling very, very confused here. Because in this person's mind, they feel like they're receiving mixed messages from you. They feel like you're giving them mixed messages and it can't be trusted. They're, they're standing back protecting themselves. All right, Taurus, let's get some advice from the universe here, which is know your worth. And this is new moon in Taurus. And then you have full moon in Aquarius. Be real. Do not let this person put rose-colored glasses on you. There's something here where you know you know what's going on. Um, first quarter moon in Aries, step into your power. And you have go for it, new moon in Aries. First quarter moon in Aries and new moon in Aries. Step into your power and go for it, Taurus. On the bottom of the deck, you have first quarter moon in Cancer. Push through any insecurity. Do not give up. Push through any insecurity. Be real. Um, I want you guys to um, ask your angels a question. We're going to pull out the angel answer cards. Ask the question out loud like I always tell you guys to. And choose as many angel answer cards that are drawing you in. All right, so if you choose number one, your angels are telling you it's not the right time right now. If you chose number two, you have improving health. And if you choose number three, the answer is yes. All right, Taurus, I love you guys. Happy birthday, and um, I'll be keeping this candle on for you guys. It's the road opener. I love you guys and we'll meet back here again tomorrow, Taurus. Namaste.